Next step is going to be shaping the neck. And in order to do that, there's a couple tools you're gonna to be able to use for this. And I'll keep all of these in this little toolbox that I've got. So the first one is our spoke shaves. We'll show you how to use those in a second. Uh, we also have a rasp and then a couple other different files and other rasps here. And then I can also just use some sandpaper as well. To make this process easy, I've made a little guitar neck shaping block. Come get one of those and we're gonna get your neck placed up on top of that. And then we're gonna clamp our neck down to the bench top with that block and this will help lift it off the table. It'll give us a little bit easier access to curving it and shaping it without our tools getting into the way of the bench top. So go ahead and just clamp that down nice and firm so your neck is held real tight. I find it's easiest to sit down at a stool when doing this so you just have your neck clamped down to the bench and we're going to start off there's actually three sections of this we're going to work on. First section is just this middle section we're going to be curving that over on both sides and getting that shaped. Another section is our heel portion here. We're gonna shape that. And then the third part is just gonna be up at the headstock uh, shaping that as well. So we're gonna kind of focus on the three sections at a different time each. Let's start off with our spoke shave and get the one that's a flat spoke shave. And we're just gonna push or pull whatever's the easiest. And you're gonna notice when you start shaving with this spoke shave, if it's not cutting easy, then just change the direction that you're going and go the opposite way. And you'll see a difference which one's gonna be easier. It all depends on the grain and just getting your neck started to be roughed out, the shape. And you're just kind of curving it over, left side, right side, trying to get this as equal and even as possible. Uh, it'd be a good idea to maybe look at an example neck. So I've got my guitar here, my original one, and you can just look at the shape of the neck and. Uh, just kind of compare throughout your process of shaping your neck to make sure that everything is looking the same. So we'll take quite a bit of time and start off with that middle portion of that neck. One thing that sometimes happens if your spoke shave, if that blade is not set correctly and some of your shavings get jammed in there really well and makes it difficult to push or pull that spoke shave, uh, we can adjust that blade position but if you need help with that let me know and I can help you get that blade set just right we don't want to take off way too much in each pass but it should be shaving off just a small little shaving each time you're just kind of pushing it back and forth okay so again with the spoke shave you're just trying to do a rough shape of this neck it doesn't have to be perfect perfect with the spoke shape you're just trying to round it Get the equal left and right side of this neck symmetrical. And then once you get it fairly roughed out, the shape, there's some other tools you can use as well. Rasp next. And on that, you're gonna notice that one face is really rough and then the other face is more smooth, a little fine. I'd recommend use that fine surface first. And this, you can just kind of shape that neck anywhere where maybe that spoke shape couldn't get it very well. And you're just kind of rubbing that back and forth and rounding it over, smoothing it up. That rough side really is aggressive. And so I wouldn't use the rough side unless it's really needing to remove a lot of material because it'll, it'll be a little harder and it's just going to be really aggressive on that rough side. So again, we're just focusing right now on that middle part of our neck. Later, we're gonna do the heel and the headstock. Another thing you can use is just the strip of sandpaper. Once you've got this really roughed out, put that sandpaper on there and it's just like you're shining your shoe. And you're just going back and forth and this will really round it over and smooth it up. But don't do the sandpaper until you've got your neck almost the shape that you want. And this is just kind of just getting it the last shape and check it often check your progress every so often unclamp your neck from the bench top here and and just check it off of a, a neck that the example neck or just hold it in your hands and just kind of feel how does it feel is it too thick is there spots that we need to keep working on and so just go throughout this process checking that neck often and just getting that shape how you want it to go 
there are specific tolerances as far as the thickness that it needs to be along certain frets and so we can get those to the exact thickness as well but again i like to compare with an example neck or again just hold it in my hand and just see how it is so this neck was still a little bit thick and so we're going to take that spoke shave again and just start thinning it out flattening it out on the top section and then we'll start rounding it over on the edges as well take your time with this we want to make sure that we're doing this accurate, getting the thickness how we want it. It's real easy to make our neck way too thin, so take your time. Again, you're gonna work it with this sandpaper for your final shaping on this middle part of the neck. And after we get the middle part of the neck shaped how we want, and we've verified and checked that it's the right thickness, feels good when we're holding it, and it matches that example neck, our next step is we're gonna start working on this heel part. So if we look on our example one, you know, just the shape, how we're coming angled down, looking at the end. And again, even this example one is not perfect, perfect. So do your best to get whatever shape you want it to be, but also looking good. I like to draw a center line on here, right in the middle where your tenon matches. And we're just going to draw some kind of center line so we know right side, left side, where to shape that. And it's also a good idea to maybe even draw, if you can, whatever shape you want this to look like on the ends. And we're just going to try to match this on both sides, trying to make this as symmetrical as possible. The first part I would do is I would maybe start off again with your spoke shape. And you're gonna take your spoke shave and you're just gonna kind of get these corners down a little bit. Kind of shaping that a little bit. Our rasp is an excellent tool for this, shaping this neck, the end part here. We can also take these round rasps and files and shape this as well. That works really, really well. And then we can even come over to our spindle sander and also our uh, vertical belt sander, some other power sanders that we can start shaping this as well. This process on the heel does take quite some time. And you're gonna just whittle away at it a little bit at a time until we get it shaped how we like. We're working on both those corners first. Now the pencil line that you draw might not be perfect, so go off of what it looks like, I'm trying to keep this symmetrical. And again, the left side and the right side, we want this to match. Kind of just looking at that, we can maybe see that the left side is curved a little different than the right side, so we're going to try to make those the same. We can jump over to our spindle sander and this will be that inside curve where the neck's at. And we wanna make sure that the spindle that's in here actually matches the shape of the neck that we want. If it's too big, we need to switch that with a smaller spindle. And so we're just looking to try to find a good fitting spindle for that neck. Try to freehand shape some of the edges here on the spindle sander too. You're going to do a lot with our rasp files and sandpaper later, but if you want to get some of the material removed with the spindle sander, that works too. Okay, after that spindle sander, come on back and mount it back in this little shaping block. And we can use our little round file or round rasp here, and we're just going to hit those edges and just really shape the end of this neck really well. Just shaping this with that rasp and then we'll do some sanding on it with that sandpaper to smooth it up. We'll get both sides, left side, right side, make a match. We'll use that sandpaper to smooth it up as well. 
Just like shining your shoe. Okay, the next section that we're gonna shape on the neck is going to be our headstock area here. So you've already drawn your pattern on the front. You should be able to see your line that you drew and we'll come down and sand it to the line. We also need to worry about the thickness here. And the thickness of this needs to be between 9 16 and 5 8 somewhere around there. That way our tuning pegs will be able to fit perfectly on that. And if there's any other parts of it you want to shape or sand, uh, we're just going to clean this all up, maybe with a random orbit sander at the end. I'd recommend come over to my horizontal belt sander for this headstock shaping. And we've removed our little flat table on the end here, just give us a little more room. And this is kind of a perfect spot to just do some shaping. Use that end of that horizontal belt center that wraps around and you can just shape that headstock right down to your line. Now the shape of this headstock is not that crucial. We just want to try to get the left side and the right side to be a good symmetrical mirror image of itself. So if you end up fanning a little too much on one side, then go ahead and just match the other side. But do your best to get it right down to your line that you drew on there. We also want to avoid sanding into our fretboard. So you're just going right down your lines here. Just be gentle. Just getting that side curve sanded right down to your line. To the very top of your guitar, you can kind of just try to match, again, your little cutout shape. We've got a little smaller spindle sander up on the top. That should fit that curve pretty quick and easy. Or you can use the end of the horizontal belt sander and just trying to sand those down right to your line. If part of the sandpaper is worn out, maybe lift it up or lower it until you get to a good fresh part of the sandpaper. When you're doing the other side, you might need to just flip your board over to the opposite side of the sander here. Again, we're just trying to get the left side and the right side symmetrical. And so if you ended up sanding a little too much past your line on one side, just match it on the other. Just make this headstock look as symmetrical and perfect as you can. Okay, to get the headstock the right thickness, we're just going to turn our neck sideways and just kind of pull it back and keep it moving nice consistent speed. Making sure we're keeping it nice and flat up against that belt so you're not sanding one side more than the other. We're trying to get this between 5 eighths of an inch and 9 sixteenths of an inch. So if you take a tape measure and measure the thickness of that, we're just looking to make sure that we're consistent with between 5 eighths and 9 sixteenths. Right now we're just about exactly 5 eighths of an inch thick. So we have a little bit more that we can go if we need to. We just don't want to go anything smaller than 9 sixteenths on our thickness here. Again, real careful that we're getting even pressure when sanding this, so we're not sanding one side of it more than the rest. Don't, don't have this be angled or crooked at all when you're sanding. You want it nice and perfectly straight and flat. Come back over with your neck shaping block and get it mounted again. And, and again, just take some sandpaper, do your final shaping on this kind of the transition between the middle part of the neck and where that headstock is we can sand that transition there uh, we're also going to take a random orbit sander i would get some 150 grit sandpaper on here and sand the entire neck with that and switch it out with 220 to get your final final sanding Just shaping that neck with that sandpaper and just get it exactly how you want it. This is your final sanding of your neck, so get it really well sanded. Once you're done with the 150, switch over to the 220. And again, we're hitting the entire thing. This is our final sanding, 220 grit sandpaper on the entire back side of the neck. Yeah. 
You might have to use some hand sandpaper on some spots that are a little bit more difficult to sand with that random orbit sander. Okay, once you've sanded your entire neck, another thing to maybe look at is where all your fret wires are at. If it's a little bit sharp on some of these edges, you can take that sander and just at an angle, kind of sand those just to knock off any sharp corners off here. I'm not really rounding things over, it's just kind of at a slight chamfer and angle, both sides of that neck. Don't forget to get the top of your head plate, get any pencil marks that are still maybe on there. Clean that all up. Again, this is your final sanding on your neck. And then your neck should be done. <laughs>